All of us at the Dub Network would like to thank the crew at Herman Marshall Whiskey for sponsoring another episode of Harps Court. Herman Marshall Small Batch Whiskey is handcrafted and award-winning, and whether it be their Texas bourbon, Texas rye, Texas single malt, or their blended bourbon whiskey, all are built from the grain up, just like good whiskey should be. And make sure you check out their amazing tasting room in Wiley, Texas, if you get a chance. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It's a great place to pop on in, enjoy one of their specialty drinks or two, or for hosting special occasions like birthday parties, mixers, weddings, or receptions. Thank you so much, Herman Marshall. Hey, y'all, welcome to Harp's Court. I'm your host, Derek Harper, and I'm honored to have a very special guest in studio this afternoon. He is the one and only, an up-and-coming star, as far as I'm concerned, Jaden Hardy. Welcome to Harp's Court, man. How's everything? Everything going good. I appreciate you having me here. Absolutely. You know, I, I want to ask a couple of little simple questions to you, right? All right. Are you a student of the game? Do you know the history of the NBA? You know the guys that paved the way for you to be in the NBA and where you are right now? Do you know those guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm a student of the NBA. G give me somebody. Give give me some guys that that people – you're just 20 years old. A mm -hmm. lot of people wouldn't even realize that you know some of these guys. Yeah. Give give me a guy that 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 that's past tense, not me. Mm -hmm. That's a has been, but raised some raised some 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 hay in the in their day. Mm, I give you one, uh, Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah I like, Thomas. I like yeah. Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, uh, you, you have anybody else? Isaiah, everybody knows Z. <laughs> <laughs> I know you you, were, me, you, you spent me. some time. You grew up in Detroit. Yeah, right? I grew up in Detroit. So yeah, yeah. I, I grew up a Pistons fan. So yeah, yeah. I know a lot of the Pistons like history. History from yeah. Detroit and mm -hmm. their, their heydays. Yeah, from Detroit yeah. and their heydays. Yeah, I, I, you know, the reason I asked the question, man, is because I think it's important for young mm -hmm. players like yourself, mm -hmm. Jaden, to know the history, to yeah. know the history of the game. When I was, this isn't about me, but when I was growing up, I knew everything mm -hmm. about centers, guards, forwards. That's how bad I wanted to be in the NBA. I, I mean, I really did. So I took my time and did my due diligence. Mm -hmm on getting to know who these guys were, where they were from, what they like, what they eat, all of those things. That's yeah. how bad I wanted to uh, to be an NBA basketball player. Mm -hmm. So I, I just I just wanted to bounce that off you really quick. But tell the people who you are. Who, who is Jaden Hardy uh, on and off the court? Who, mm -hmm. who are you? Because a lot of people still don't know. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean I'm Jaden Hardy. Yeah, I, I would say, like, you know, I'm a hard worker. Uh, I'm outgoing, I'm fun, friendly, you know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you know, just, you know, like off the court, like I'm usually, like if I'm not playing basketball, like I'm studying, studying the game mm -hmm. or, you know, watching watching basketball or, you know, just chilling, like watching. Like I like listening to music. I like music a lot. Um, I like sometimes I play video games, but mainly I'm just studying the game. You know, I love basketball, so I'm always in the gym or either studying the game. In your opinion, Jaden, who, who who do you think right now is the best guard? I don't care if it's two guard, one guard. Mm -hmm. Who do you feel like is the best in the league right now? The best in the league right now? You said – Other yeah. than you. Other than you. <laughs> you know you – uh, you're coming. Just you saying. You just you just saying. Who's like, the best guard? Period. Best guard. Period. Yeah. yeah. Who 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 do you look at and you marvel at? Who do mm -hmm. you see on the floor that it's like, man, this guy is I extra. Probably, I say Curry. I gotta say Curry just by watching him. Like uh -huh. he's never he he always moving. Like you you see guys when they talk about guarding him, like how he always constantly moving, always running around, you know, and then with his ability to. To shoot the three from anywhere, you know, you got to pick him up as soon as he walk in the gym for real. So, you know, just – well, I feel like Curry is like one of those guys that you just got to respect. Fox? Fox, too. Fox, too. Same, same, kind of, same kind of guy. Same kind of guy. You know, those guys fast, you know. Right. Aaron Fox especially, you know, his quick twitch. Yeah. His ability to get in the lanes, find his teammates. So, those two guys for sure are – some of the top guards in the league right now. Yeah. So with that being said, do you have the potential? Oh yeah. To be in that category and that 
atmosphere mm-hmm. yeah. of Steph Curry, DeAndre Fox, mm-hmm. Dame Lillard, yeah. Kyrie Irving. Mm-hmm. Do you think you have the ability one day for us to be for me to be sitting here saying Jaden Hardy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like I had the ability Why? to do that. What, what, what makes you think you have that ability? You, my, you, my work ethic, and mm-hmm. I feel like I mean, anytime I matched up against those guys, I feel like they respect my game once they mm. once once I once I, you know, going against. Them. Where, 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 what's your ceiling? Where, where do you think you can be? Do you I feel think like you I don't have no one? ceiling. You don't have a ceiling. Mm-mm. I feel like I could keep getting better, keep learning, keep growing. Where do you see yourself now? Where, where are you trying to get to? You say keep going, going where? Where, where to the top? Yeah, to the top. Are you gonna? The be only one, way is to the top. One day, <laughs> if God delays his coming, one day you're gonna be one of the top guards in the league. Is yeah. what you're telling me. Mm-hmm. I believe that. Mainly because. The work? The work ethic. You know, my belief in myself. You know, I have faith in God. And I feel like, I mean, Facts. whatever I put my mind to, I can do. I've been doing it my whole life. I'm, so, I, I mean, why stop? Mm. Have you have you surprised yourself? Anything surprised you about the season this year? About yourself? About your team? Why didn't you all make the playoffs? How about that? What, what do you think kept you guys from, from mm. being in the playoffs? Mm, it was just, I feel like, Coming down to it, it was a lot of close games that we lost that we wasn't supposed to lose. And I feel like, you know, it came down to, like, just being locked in, like, in those quarters. You know, sometimes we have great three quarters come down to the fourth quarter, and now we giving up offensive rebounds, you know, loose balls. We're not getting 50-50 balls, you know. Shots not going in. We're getting open loose, but shots are just not going in. So I feel like, you know, it came down to, you know, us being locked in and people being held accountable. Are you a leader? Yeah, I feel like I'm a leader. What well, What's a leader to you? A leader, I feel like it's someone that's going to hold everybody accountable. He's going to keep it real with you. You think you, you have to be a certain age no. to lead? Mm-mm. You can lead right now. Yeah. Uh, are, you, are you in a place mentally, psychologically, where you feel like you can step up now after a full season, right? Mm-hmm. This was your first full season in the NBA around the clock, right? Yeah. You feel like you, you you're... you're Mentally prepared to say, hey, that's not right. We need to do it this way. Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like, uh, you know, with the year I had, you know, a lot of ups and downs, you know. You know, you just, like mentally, you know, it's it's a lot. Like when you not playing and then you playing, you not know, really knowing like what's going on when you're going to play. So just battling with that and, you know, just staying ready, you know, just waiting for my opportunity, you know, talking to my teammates, you know, asking them. Like about their their couple, first couple of years in the league, like mm-hmm. what they did, you know, and you know just just learning from that. And I feel mm-hmm. like I mean that experience just just helped me a lot. How has what what have you learned from Luca, Kyrie? I think I asked you this before mm-hmm. during the year, but how much do those guys help you? Yeah, they help me a I mean, lot. They're, they're superstar, mm-hmm. all NBA type guys. Yeah. How 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 have you learned from them? Yeah, both of them, uh, Luca and Kyrie, they both always helping me. You know, with Luca, like when I first got here, like he he told me like he liked my game, like mm-hmm. and I, he was just like, you know, just keep working. Like I always like wa- like usually like when he's working out, I try to like watch his workouts, like what he's doing, you know, and like just the way like it just comes so natural to him, you know, uh, when he's out there, you know, just being able to find his teammates, being able to score the ball, being able to like to run a team. I feel like. Just like learning that from him, like seeing how he interacts with with the, with, his, with the teammates, you know, with the mm-hmm. other guys, and you know, just yeah, I feel like just seeing that up close, and then him like wanting to help me, like when we are on the court, like like say, say for instance, like we on the court, like he telling me like you know where to go, or like just like the pace of the game, like slow down or stuff like that, just helping me when I'm out there, you know, giving me confidence, and then you know with Kyrie, like ever since he got here, he's been helpful for me to, mm-hmm. to me. You know, always in my ear helping me. You know, I mean, I watch Kyrie. I've been watching Kyrie since I was young. Yeah, you know, since I was young. So, you know, just to be able to, like, be, you know, close with him, you know, being able to go up to him and ask him anything. You know, I like to ask him a lot of questions about his career. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I had a conversation with him, asking him, him about, like, his rookie year, like how his first yeah. couple of years in the league was. He you was know, in Cleveland. He, I think he got drafted by Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. he, and he told me about his, his experience in Cleveland, you know, his experience in Boston, Brooklyn. And now, so just being able like to hear that from him, you know, and take that in, I feel like that, that helped me a lot. 
What, what, you're watching the playoffs, surely. Everybody mm-hmm. does this time. This is the most exciting time of the year in the NBA. Yeah. What, what do you see when you're watching the playoffs? How do you how do you study the game this time of the year? You've never played in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So what are you trying to get out of be, watching what's going on in the first round of the playoffs? Yeah, you know, watching the playoffs, like, I just want – it just make me want to be there, you know, just seeing, like, the intensity – you know those, how hard those guys playing out there. Like I mean, like like it's their last play. So just like being able like to watch that, you know, seeing how hard these guys are playing on both ends of the of, of the floor. You know, seeing the pace of the game. You know, and just just really just like you know you just gotta like study it for real. Mm-hmm. Study it. Are you a one or a two or a three? I mean, what 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 would you say your position is? I know you're a guard, mm-hmm. a pretty good. A, a damn good guard, I, I, I might add. Where, where do you see Jaden being in the league? A one, a combo? There, there's a lot of theory on yeah. on guys and, and their potential, their, mm-hmm. their their growth. I feel like, I mean, with the type of player that I am, I had. A, I feel like I'm capable of playing either one or the two. Mm-hmm. I feel like my playmaking, you know, I'm still improving, but, you know, I feel like I, I'm I'm one of the best play, young playmakers in the league right now, and you know just with my ability to get in the paint, you know, find my teammates, my three level scoring mm-hmm. for me to be able to score for I feel like anywhere on the floor, and you know just I feel like I, yeah. I'm, Do you understand the theory of when to go, mm-hmm. when to be aggressive, and when to slow? Because I feel like that that was the biggest challenge for me. Mm-hmm. As a rookie in the NBA, I didn't get a lot of minutes. You you probably played more minutes this year than I got to play my rookie year. But do you understand that theory mm-hmm. of when to go, when to slow? You 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 gotta you gotta know how to involve everybody, right? Yeah. A lot of times I watch the Mavericks play. You might get hot and might not get another shot the whole quarter. That's a guard's responsibility, right? That's that's leadership, but mm-hmm. that's that's more a guard's responsibility is to know that Timmy hadn't had a shot in about eight possessions. Mm-hmm. Do you understand that theory, and how can you implement that to your game and get better? Yeah, you know, that's something like the, the my teammates and like the coaching staff like preached to me. You know, like that's something like Luca. You know, Luca was helping me with you know just like knowing like want to be aggressive. Mm-hmm. Want to slow down, you know, getting everybody involved, you know, taking the right shots. So, you know, just like I feel like it comes with, uh, you know, it comes over time, you know, just with reps and uh, studying the game, I feel like. And, yeah. You feel ready-made for the NBA. Yeah. Will you be an all-star one day in yeah. the NBA? I will. I'll Without question. All-star. Without a question. Soon? Soon. What, what, Real give, soon. Where do you get your confidence from, man? Why, why, why do you seem mm-hmm. so confident when you jump when you're on the floor? You, you just, you just go. I mean, we, as a starter, yeah. I, I think this says and bodes very well for you because as a starter, you play better. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're a starter, a permanent starter in this league. Yeah, I feel like I'm a starter in this league on this Maverick roster. There are yeah. a lot of guys on this roster. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel like you are. Yeah, I feel like I am. Well, what's the limit? What is this? What, what? How good can you be? What's your What's your ceiling, man? I keep asking. I feel like the sky is the limit for me. As long as I push myself, you know, I feel like I could be one of the one of the greatest greatest young guards in the league. When When did you realize that you had this kind of potential? The kind of potential that you can go five, six, seven games with twenty plus points. Mm-hmm. Have you always felt that? I always felt that way. Always felt that way. You know, when I was in high school, I was going against all stars when I was in high school, mm-hmm. playing against those guys and, and they telling me like like this kid in high school. You next level. Like, dang. Like, I'm gonna see you soon. Keep going. That's they, what they're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> guys like who? I'm I'm curious. Guys like who, Jay? Uh James Harden. Yeah. Dane. Trey yes. Young. Yes. Those those guys those those three those those are my guys right there. What do you want to accomplish, man? Away from basketball, I I, I think you're on your way, mm-hmm. basketball wise. But what do you want to accomplish long term? 
as a, a 20 year old, you're probably one of the youngest kids in the league mm-hmm. at 20 years old. What is it that when it's all said and done, and I know it's a long ways away, you probably don't even look that far. Yeah. But when, when, when it's all said and done for Jaden Hardy, what do you hope people say? I, feel, I hope people say, like, that dude was a monster. That's what, that's what I want to say. Like, he, he was about his business. What do you have to work on to, to, to get to, to the level that you want to get to? What do I have to work on? Yeah. What do you have to what, – what do you think – What two flaws that you have that you, you want to get better at? Two flaws. I would say, you know, for me, I, I want to become I, I want to become a two-way player in this league, you know, not just, just known for my offensive ability. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to be like known, as, known as somebody that's, you know, that's going to play both sides of the ball, you know, push myself to those limits. And I feel like, you know, defensively I, could, I, could get, I can improve. How? how? How do you get there? How, how do you improve defensively? Is it a mindset? It's a, it's, yeah, it's a mindset, and then you you know just we gotta work on your body more. You know, like mm-hmm. you gotta work on a lot of requests. Get stronger, stronger. You know, you taking you playing against strong. I'm playing against stronger guys. Now. I'm playing against like real grown men. So you gotta get stronger, faster. You know, and take care of your body, and it's a it's a it's a it's a mentality you gotta have it in you. Mm-hmm. What has it been like playing for a, a Hall of Fame coach like Jason Kidd? I mean, it's been. I mean, so far it's been great. You know, it's just. Well, him helping me, you know, helping me improve my game, always giving me confidence, even though even when I wasn't playing, he was still helping me, you know, just always coming down, making sure I was good, even when I was playing in the G League, still mm-hmm. talking to me, you know, making sure I was good, you know, even when it was hard for me, just telling me, like, giving me, like, different examples or different teammates, different guys on the team, like, I could go talk to, like, who was in my situation, you know, and how to get through that. You know, I feel like he did that to um to help me. To to I feel like it was it was to help me. Should Draymond Green been suspended last night? <laughs> Should he? Do do you you did you view that? That's what everybody's that's what the, the news is, mm. is he's not gonna play in game three. Do do mm. do you view that as the right the right call? Mm, no, I don't I don't, I don't think it was You don't right agree right. with it. Mm-mm. Um, as far as intensity, man, do you do you see and realize the difference in the regular season? And it's hard to just look at it mm-hmm. and, and, and figure it out. But do you see a, the difference? Everybody oh, yeah. always said that the playoffs is different. Mm-hmm. That, that's what we all talked about. You know, you you have the start of the season, uh, the All Star, and then there's and you're getting ready for the playoffs. Yeah, can you see yourself? Being out there right now, playing for the ante is up, trying mm-hmm. to win 16 games to be crowned the ch- champion. Yeah, I see myself. I, can see, I see myself playing in it. Mm-hmm. So you, 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 you really feel like you are the shit, the guy, the dude. You, you feel like you, yeah, you humbly, can get it done. humbly, yeah. humbly. Yeah, I like it, man. <laughs> I like it. I, um, you know, who Tiny Archibald is. No, I don't. You don't know mm-hmm. Tiny's. I th- you know Oscar Robinson, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, John Havlicek? Nah. No? Mm-mm. See, that's that's my challenge to you is to, and I think it'll make you better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Away from the game, just learn who paved the way. Learn about, do you know who Kevin Johnson is? Yeah. You know KJ? Mm-hmm. Um, just learn the league inside and out. Got you. And it will help you to continue to want to be great. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. If you learn what the league has been about, Craig Hodges. Mm-hmm. You familiar with Craig Hodges? Mm-mm. See, one of the greatest shooters of all time. And that, I think that's that's where I want to challenge you as my buddy is to – is to 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 grow, keep growing, and you. I mean, you're going you're you're going to do it mm-hmm. physically and all of that. But what takes you to the next level, man, is just really absorbing all of the the, the greatness yeah. that paved the way for for you to uh, to be where you are. Mm-hmm. Who wins in a one on one against you and your brother? <laughs> <laughs> like, we didn't have a lot of those battles, but you know, 
I mean, Ram is sitting right here. So <laughs> who, who, who is? Is it is it kind of kind of even or what? What? What do you guys? I, I like to see I that. Like, I feel like we just you know anytime it's we a play, wash. we just we always pushing each other. We we want to get better. So, right. You know, just whatever it does to make him, he gonna he gonna push me to get better. You know, he's going to talk smack. He's going to try to get in my head. He's going to try to get under my skin, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm going to talk back to him. But but you all war I feel, a lot. Yeah. I feel like uh, he, if I, if it wasn't for him, I'm not here today where I am today. Will he be here one day? Yeah. Does he, he deserve to be? Is he, he good enough to. to be an NBA player? He's good enough right now. I believe he should be an NBA right now. Why do you think some guys make it and some guys miss? Mm, I feel like. A lot. I feel like a lot. You gotta. You gotta have some luck on your side. I feel mm -hmm. like. And then, I like that answer. And I feel like you know, a lot of guys. You know, I feel like it's, it come down. To, sometimes you gotta have some luck on your side. You gotta know. You gotta have good connections. And I feel like some guys. You know, it's either you're not dedicated. You you gotta be really dedicated. You know, some guys they, you know, they come in. You know, or they ain't, they don't come in. They just. You know, trying to chill or whatever. I feel like that's 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 why some guys don't make it, and some guys that make it. Give me an idea of of, of what you're doing right now, like workout wise. I know you've been working out every day mm -hmm. over at SMU. Yeah. What 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 kind of things are you working on? What, what? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, just my playmaking, my ball handling, finishing. You know, uh, I've been working on my back to the basket game. Mm. Uh, and I feel like, yeah, that's that's just what I've just been, you know, working and just trying to stay sharp, you know, mm -hmm. sharpening my tools. Will so, you play all summer? What what will the summer look like for you? Um, right now, uh, I'm looking at playing in summer league right now. Uh, but other than that, you know, just Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. You you're gonna go back to the summer? You played there last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna continue to play in the summer league? Uh, yeah. That's just something you feel like will help you to. Mm -hmm. Get to where you have you been asked to go out there? No. You just want to play. Yeah. Man, I wish I was in my prime. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm joking with you when I say mm -hmm. that, but I, I I see something special in you. I really do. I, I, I see something that that's hard to uh go by the, the grocery store and get. You you really have a humble confidence about you. Like you laugh, we on the floor and you're laughing and joking with me for a second. Yeah. And then you go right back into, I gotta go out here and bust these cats butt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and I, I just like that in you, man. And 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 continue to be that way. You gotta you gotta you have an opportunity, man, to really have a special career. And not many guys are put in that position mm -hmm. to to have that opportunity. Like we were talking about your brother, and I'm I'm with you. I think he'll get there as well. But the way to do it, man, you can't be out work. Mm -hmm. Come early and stay late. That's the key to success is to come early, stay late. Be the first one there, last one to leave. And that's why – and that's when the game becomes easy. Mm -hmm. People think that – and you tell me what you think. People think Steph Curry – hit shot after shot by chance. It's it's not that. Mm -hmm. It's because he's had so many reps that it's become automatic yeah. for him. Are mm -hmm. you at that point yet in your in your career where you feel like you're gonna make every shot yeah. that you throw up like, there? I feel like, yeah. Mainly because you've the, the reps, the my confidence, like believing in my work, you know, a lot of those hours in the gym, you know, I feel like it's repetition. Like, you know. You you enjoy any any other sports? Yeah, like I, I like watching football. You know, mm -hmm. I like football. I played football when I was growing up. What position? Uh, I started off as quarterback. Then you know when I got <laughs> quarterback. To, yeah, I started off as quarterback. <laughs> Jalen Hurts actually. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I started off as quarterback. Then once I got to um, like middle school, I was growing, so I switched to wide receiver. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like football. So top, your top five players to watch in the NBA. Top five players to watch in the NBA: uh, Curry, Bron. Uh, I like Dane. This is not including like who on our team right now. I'm just 
You can like whoever you want to like. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not including Kai? nobody. Luca? Nah, yeah. Well, if it was, if I'm including them, them gonna be my first two, and then Curry, LeBron, and. Uh, oh, you you're going Kai, Luca, and then you, the other three. Yeah. What makes Luca so special? I feel like you know, his ability. I feel like he can't. He really, he can't be stopped for real. Just when he when he's in that mode and he's going. It's hard to stop him. And then his ability to get his teammates involved, mm -hmm. I feel like he can't be sped up at all. He's going to get to his spots. He's going to get to the same thing every time. Can you slow him down? He said you can't, you can't <laughs> speed him up. You can't speed him he up. He plays at his own pace. He plays at his Do, own pace. Does Jaden Hardy play at his own pace? Yeah, I play at my own pace. What, what's your pace? My pace. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get this guy. Out of here, man. That is uh, that that's special, man. Like I said, I, you you just have a special a special gift mm -hmm. is what I'm gonna call it. And I know you have to get out of here and um, and do some other things. But I I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to come over here and holler at me on Harps Court. No problem. We do a uh, <laughs> a sec a, a segment mm -hmm. called Fact or Fiction. And uh, I'm going to do that with you real quick right, right here. Fact or fiction, the Mavericks will win a championship within the next five years. Fact. And you you say that why? I say that why? Because I believe we, we're going to win one. What, what, what has to take place for you? You, you missed the playoffs this year, so mm -hmm. what has to take place for you guys to come back bigger, stronger, faster, and better? Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, it's us all being united, I feel like, together. You know, when things are not going right or things going right, I feel like we just got to stay stick together through the tough times and through the through the good times. And I feel like if we do that, you know, we stay with each other, I feel like we got a great chance, a great shot at winning the championship. Who you see? Who do you see being crowned champion this year? Right now, the way the playoffs are looking, I feel like anybody can get it. And anybody? I, <laughs> you gotta, I honestly do. I do feel you like, have a favorite, Jaden? Do I have a favorite? A favorite team that you, you're pulling for? Guys might be on Denver's team that mm -hmm. you're tight with or Milwaukee, whatever the case might be. Uh, there's not nobody that I'm really pulling for. Okay. Now, but, <laughs> I got you. Because we're we not in there, so yeah, there's not yeah. nobody you're really. pulling for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling for me. Yeah. I'm pulling for the Mavericks. But who, who, do you, who do you think comes out of the uh, – who, who, who's crowned as champion? Uh, if I had to choose, I'm going to choose probably – I'm probably going to go – Thinking, I'm probably gonna go with the Celtics. A lot of depth. So does Denver. Well, good luck. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to uh, to more from you. Appreciate that. All right, that's all from Harper's Court. Mm -hmm. All of us at the Dub Network would like to thank the crew at Herman Marshall Whiskey for sponsoring another episode of Harps Court. Herman Marshall Small Batch Whiskey is handcrafted and award-winning, and whether it be their Texas bourbon, Texas rye, Texas single malt, or their blended bourbon whiskey, all are built from the grain up, just like good whiskey should be. And make sure you check out their amazing tasting room in Wiley, Texas, if you get a chance. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It's a great place to pop on in, enjoy one of their specialty drinks or two, or for hosting special occasions like birthday parties, mixers, weddings, or receptions. Thank you so much, Herman Marshall.